Hey all, I'm Chaos Bergoff to you, and you're stupid. You're watching Chaos Bergoff and Math Help, but let's say it in uh, some math. Um, now, today's case is Geometric Sequence, Algebra 1. Now, a lot of you, for some reason, don't know how to solve Geometric Sequence. Um, it's really easy. Um, it's actually easier than Arithmetic. And, uh, quick, uh, easier to explain than Arithmetic. So, uh, we see this little, we see this little sequence. We got two, four... Eight. Um, and let's say we want to find the tenth term. Now, we could times two, times two, times two, times two, over and over again. We can tell, uh, we can tell it go, um, it's, you know, geometric because we times two. Now, this could easily be, we could have regionally, we kind of have to have at least about three or four terms before we can determine if it's arithmetic or geometric because, you know, with this one, we can just add two, but then we get to eight so that we know it's geometric. So we want to find the tenth term. Now the equation is a a n a forgot actually what you call it uh a something something a low uh apps um n there's definitely a term for I just forgot about it and then it got a one which you know um a one uh, okay um okay this is being a little goofy today uh, okay um a let's try to draw an a I'm like. Okay, this looks like a cube, but it doesn't really matter. Um, let's put it down here. Um, and uh, times L. Um, N minus 1. Now, let's, uh, what does this mean? Now, A is just the answer to it. Um, the nth term we're trying to find. So, for example, in this case, it'd be 10. So, we're trying to find a 10th term. Um, now, this is the first term, so... In this case, it'd be two. So let's write it down. A n equals um uh oh yeah two. And what does this mean? This is the common base here. So what do we multiply for each equation? Okay, okay, I, um, okay, um, <laughs> trying to draw a two here. Um, I'm not drawing two really well, but I am definitely drawing. Okay, um, <laughs> okay. Um, and, so we're times in two, so, I be two again here, and then we subtract, um, the term we're trying to get by ten, by one. Uh, why do we subtract it by one? Well, essentially, we're subtracting this one, because we already, we already started at this term, so we just subtract one, um, so this equation, uh, a and, I guess, two times three, two, to the power of nine, I believe, would also be, we're giving them my answer, I just don't think it's a uh, common, I just don't think it's, like, recommended, so, um, let's get ourselves up, uh, a calculator, now I just happen to have my, uh, calculator here, handy, so, it's pretty simple, um, we just do two times two, in this case, um, to the power of ten minus one, and that would be 2047. Oh, wait, now, how do we do something? Let's do something a little harder. Um, like, you know, going down. So, we're going to go 16. We're going to go from 16. We're going to go 16. We're going to go 16. Uh, eight. Um... And one. So, so now let's have to find the common, uh, the common ratio. So the ratio would be, um, one fourth. Now, why aren't we dividing? Well, we can't divide in the sequence because we just, uh, because we all know, um, if you ti multiply by a fraction, I believe it's the same as dividing, um, by a whole number. So. In this case, we're dividing by 4, so we just did 16 divided by 4, and since we're going down, we would just put it over 1, so we got 1 fourth. Okay, now, oh, I should have to keep it, so. Now we know the, uh, now what tones we find? Let's try to find the, uh, 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 the 17th term. Um, 4, and, uh, okay, so we, we already know the, uh, what to do. We just write A, um, N. Um, really, really bad, uh, N. 
But I can't, like, use, like, Desmos because, like, not, like, graphing. So, I gotta, like, use my mouse. Or maybe I could, like, make my mouse a little... Maybe this will make my mouse a little better. Also, we're trying to find the, uh... So, the first... We set up 16. Oh, okay, this is actually better. Not for programming, but it is better for, uh, I guess, doing math. Um, and the count ratio would be one fourth. And let's subtract the 17th term, my, um, 17 minus 1. Let's solve this. Unless it's gonna be like a really big number, which may, probably would be best, probably in scientific notation. Most likely, you're probably not gonna actually, uh, I don't think a lot of tests would give you, uh, have you do this uh, big of a number, but I'm just doing it because I can. Oh, crap. Um, oh, this is gonna be a bit of a predicament. Let's just do, I guess, one fourth divided by four. I think that'd be the same, so. And we gonna have times that by, uh, 17 minus one. Okay, let's actually double check with math away. Um, just because I don't, uh, okay. Alright, I got my American history, uh, book out. Uh, math away. Uh, just because I don't, I'm pretty sure this is correct, but also, um, the only issue is like, uh, no, so. We got 16, one fourth. Yeah, I, it would be better off to do it in like a full on calculator, but this calculator on my computer does not happen to do facts, and I don't think. Which is kind of stupid because it's a calculator, but what are we gonna do? So. Okay, <laughs> this was way off. That was way, way, way off. So, I'm gonna go with Desmos because, you know, most likely it's correct. Um, and you would have got it if you used the number calculator. Now, it's this big number. I don't know. Um, now, let's show you a negative one. Now, negative one would be very similar, but, you know, it might be a little different. And that's pretty much it, because, I mean, so we got two uh, times. So, we're going to have two, six, negative 12. Uh, we're just going to leave it there because I don't feel like doing any more math. Okay, so now, what do we notice? We notice whenever we multiply, we're multiplying most likely by a negative. Because we see we are 2 times negative 3. So the count we see would be negative in this case. Because we see uh, 2 times uh, negative 3 would be 6. Um, negative 3 times 6 would be 12, negative 12, and uh, you get the point. So now, it's basically the same thing. And let's try to find the 100th and 7th, the 100th, uh, and 17th tome. So we would do negative 2. Now, in my case, though, in a lot of cases, this can be a little funky, because sometimes, for some reason, at least in my, um... It's not, it doesn't always give you, like, a negative or a positive sometimes, so, you may, if you have, um, I would recommend if it's, like, a really, so, if it's, like, only, a, if it's, like, a, the fourth or fifth term, to multiply it yourself. Like, let's say we're trying to find the fifth term, I'd recommend times it up by negative three, times it up by negative three, because sometimes, in my cases, at least with my calculator, it will pretty much always sometimes get it in, like, positive. So, I don't know if it's called geomet I don't think it's called geome geometric sequence. I think it's just a bug with my calculator. So, we start at negative 2. Uh, and then we times it by pa uh, negative 3. I'm going to try to find the 117th term. Um, find the hundred, uh, from my calculator. Let's say for math. Oh, no, we can, oh, okay, we can do this. We can do this. Yeah, we can do this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, calculator. We can do this again. Uh, let's do, uh, a, um, uh, let's do negative two, negative three, to the power of a hundred. Oh, we forgot to close the parentheses. That's kind of stupid of me. Well, I know I'm going to put my view in because what are you going to do? Post it in the comments, and this, we got this huge number. 
I, you know how to do it, hopefully. Oh, not. Nah, I don't really care because uh, you, you, po if you're watching this point, I already got the watch time. I don't really care. Play the hit game, maybe or whatever. Have a wonderful day, guys, and goodbye. Math forever.